I am being spoiled today. Look at me, look what I'm driving. <gasps> Boom! Hello, my name is Alanis King, and this right here is a 2018 Volkswagen Golf All Track. It has 170 horsepower, seating for five, and a six speed manual transmission. This all track is a modern manual station wagon, which is almost unheard of in America. And I cannot wait to tell you about it today. But first, if you love station wagons and you love shifting them yourself, this golf all track is now available on cars and bids. You can check out more photos, see the full spec list, or maybe even bid on it at the link in the description of this video. Before we get to this Golf All Track, let's talk about what a Golf actually is. The Golf is a very, very famous nameplate for Volkswagen. When production began in early 1974, it became the successor to the also very famous Volkswagen Beetle. Beetle to Golf might seem like a big jump. The Beetle was this tiny round thing that was a big personality piece and a cultural icon, and the Golf was more normal and practical. But that was the whole idea. It was time to go from the Beetle's rear engine, rear wheel drive, and air cooling to the Golf's front engine, front wheel drive, and water cooling. I was gonna print out a piece of paper for this part to make it really dramatic, but I couldn't find a printer at my hotel, so we're gonna use my phone, okay? When the Golf debuted, Volkswagen advertised it as, and I quote, the Golf offers a maximum in usable space and safety. It is uncompromisingly geared toward practical use. The low waistline allows for good all around visibility and the sloping front hood provides a view of the road right up to the car. Thanks to the drawn down rear window, reversing is no problem. It's a new era, baby. We're going for safety and practicality. That original Golf was a five-seater with two and four-door models, and it had a foldable rear bench seat. Buyers could choose between a four-speed manual and a three-speed automatic transmission, and there was also a choice between powertrains of 50 and 70 horsepower. The fastest Golf in that original lineup could do 99.4 miles per hour, which is interesting, because I think I saw somebody doing that speed on a Houston highway on the way to this parking lot. The Volkswagen Golf has been very, very popular over the years. When the car turned 45 years old in 2019, Volkswagen said it had sold 35 million worldwide since production began, which if you divide it up evenly is about 780,000 golfs per year. Volkswagen also said that this equated to someone somewhere in the world ordering a golf once every 41 seconds uninterrupted since production began. That is a wild stat. The Volkswagen Golf has been through eight model generations since it debuted in the 1970s. Over the years, we went from that early boxy angular version to the smoother, more rounded version we see today. This all track is from the seventh generation of the car, which was offered in a hatchback or a wagon. But in 2019, Volkswagen announced that wagons like this one were no more for American buyers. And that was a huge deal because it marked the first time since 1965 that Volkswagen was not selling a new wagon to American buyers. That brings us to this car, the 2018 Volkswagen Golf All Track. Now, the All Track starts as the Volkswagen Golf Sport Wagon, which is the wagon version of the Golf. The All Track is the more off roady adventurous version, which means it comes with standard all wheel drive and higher ground clearance. Now, the seller of this car has actually lowered it so it doesn't have that high ground clearance, which I'm sure a lot of y'all would love. This car also has a 1.8 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine. It makes 170 horsepower. And the seller of this car has owned four Golfs. They told me it's all the fun of a Golf or a GTI, but with the practicality of a wagon. They also said they use the off-road driving modes while at the beach and camping, so it's a really useful car all around. This particular all-track is really, really interesting. It was imported from Canada to America, and I'll tell you why that was important. So, in 2018, you could get a six-speed manual in America on the bottom two trims of the all-track. Those two trims are the S and the SE. The top trim SEL only had a DSG automatic. 
But this is an SEL with a manual because it was brought from Canada. So that means you get all of the fancy features of the top trim with a manual transmission. The current owner of this car also bought a bunch of European spec parts, which make it an even rarer car in America. And one of those parts was the swivel hitch, which the first time I saw this, I was like, oh, wow. It was like showing a baby something, right? Okay, here we go. The swivel hitch hides from view when you're not using it, but to use it, you just pull up right here. <laughs> Boom. And then to put it away, pull up again. That brings us to our favorite part of Cars and Bids programming, which is Alanis getting in the trunk. And this is an easy trunk to get into. Wow, I am being spoiled today. Check this out. I don't even have to put it down. You can see that I easily fit in here. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Look at this. There's so much room in here. You can fit two of me. I mean, we would be a little, a little cozy, but you can fit two of me in here. Inside the Golf All Track, things are nice but understated. So I have this very simple dashboard. I have a center screen with a few buttons, not too many, not too few. I also have a digital driver instrument cluster, and that was not on this car when it was purchased. The owner actually put that in afterward, and it's really nice. It looks great. Looking at this dashboard, there are a few pieces that are shiny, not piano black, they're more piano gray. That will get some dust on it, but most of this is really easy to clean, not a dust magnet, looks great. We obviously have our six speed manual transmission right here. We have a physical handbrake pull, which is so nice. Uh, buttons are fine for the handbrakes, but eh, it's a handbrake. You gotta put your hand on it, right? Our seats have this nice striped stitching, which is like, you know, it's simple, but it looks really good. And we have this huge, huge panoramic sunroof. I mean, this is a wagon and the panoramic sunroof goes almost the length of the wagon. It makes it really nice and airy in here. The front windshield is actually more sloped than I thought it was gonna be, but I guess when you stand from the outside, you can see that slope. It's pretty angled toward me. I would say the only complaint I have in this interior is the headliner. So often when you're in normal cars, they will either have a color matched headliner or they will have a light gray headliner. And I feel like more and more cars these days are having actual color matched headliners instead of the gray. And it's so nice when whatever color the interior is, in this case, black, goes on to the headliner. So the headliner is black as well, instead of having this light gray. But you know, it honestly makes it feel a little airier to have it light gray. And also I didn't really notice it until I got in here and I started taking note of everything. So not super noticeable that you have the light gray headliner. And overall, the interior of this car is very simple, very nice. I enjoy being in here. A couple of other features up here in the front seat of this car include the fact that our seller put a Euro spec backup camera on this car. So you have the higher definition picture. You have the little lines that move with you as you're trying to park. It's helpful, but if you still can't park and you still want help, we have this little button right here, the little auto park button. And you might be going, Alanis, how do you auto park in a manual transmission car? You're going to have to shift the car and use the clutch. With auto park in this car, the steering wheel moves and you control the pedals. So you put it in auto park mode, the car finds a spot, you select the spot, the car starts to go into the spot, but it tells you to put your foot on the gas and then the wheel moves for you. So you operate the pedals and it operates the wheel. If you buy this car, there is a good chance that you are going to use the back seat. So we're back here. We're checking it out. I am five, eight and a half ish. And I have this front seat sat pretty far back. It's not all the way back, but it's pretty far back. And I have an okay amount of leg room. There is a little bit of room here between my knees and the seat. I also feel like it feels like I have more room back here 
because of this panoramic sunroof. I think if the sunroof stopped and it was just over the front two passengers, I would probably feel a little more squeezed back here. But as it is, I kind of feel like I can, you know, touch the sky. I have three seats back here, so two bigger ones than the one in the middle. And if we don't have someone in the middle, we have cup holders. But other than that, there's not a ton going on back here. We have our own vents back here, but we don't have our own climate control. So we're kind of at the mercy of whoever is up here. I don't see any chargers for the back seat passengers. So, you know, if our phones die, we're just gonna have to make conversation. All right, driving the Volkswagen Golf all track. Honestly, the first thing that was super apparent to me is that the roads in Houston are not great. And I'm going over all of these terrible roads. Like I cannot explain to you how bad the road surface is. I'm going over all of these terrible roads and this car is just taking it. Like the suspension is actually pretty nice. It feels pretty soft and I'm not getting like jostled around. It feels like a good ride in here. I'm enjoying it. So pedal feel, all these pedals feel nice and soft and not it doesn't feel like a super consequential driving experience which i think can be good when you're just in a commuter car right you're just doing your thing going to work taking the kids to school whatever the clutch pedal feel is very interesting because it has a high catch point but also it doesn't feel like this like dead space it's not like this painfully high clutch catch point sometimes you have a clutch catch point that's really high and it's like oh that takes forever to get there like that's so unpleasant this is a very like smooth and easy clutch it just catches a little higher than some other ones another interesting thing about this car is that sometimes you get in a new manual car you haven't driven before and like that spot where you're actually catching first gear feels really intense. Like it's like, oh, oh, oh. like it feels like, oh, if I kill it, this is going to be a big deal. This car is very easy going. There's not like that big loose moment where you haven't caught first gear yet. Like it's all very, very easy going, inconsequential. What's really interesting is when you go from first to second in this car, there's that middle part of the shifting gate. The shifter kind of wants to move to the right, which is a little weird. Like it doesn't want to go right down into second, which is odd because one thing I really like is going down and up into gears. Like it's just a really nice feeling to go down and up instead of up and over or down and over or whatever, you know? And when you're trying to go down into second, it's like, it doesn't want to right away. It kind of wants to like move over to the side a little bit, which is kind of weird. But in this car, like it just feels like a really nice, well done commuting vehicle, right? Like I feel super comfortable. I feel like I'm going to work and I'm just enjoying my commute, doing my thing. It's a nice car and it's a family car. And that's so, so, cool so nothing about this car is super intense right like the shifter feel very easy going the pedals very easy going like nothing feels super heavy or super like intense you're just kind of doing your thing going where you need to go and i think that lines up with what this car is this is a practical car but it's also a car you can like adventure around in and stuff you can bring a bunch of passengers in the back like this is exactly what this car is meant to be and it's really rewarding that it it feels like that when you're driving it like it feels like a practical normal car i also feel like i just have a lot of space for all of my things i have my camera equipment my backpack all of my stuff in the hatchback there and it's like there's so much room. There are so many seats. You can do whatever you want in this car. You can go places, you can adventure. Like it lives up to what it is supposed to be. This car is also just not super loud from the inside or the outside, right? Like I don't have this wild exhaust note. I'm not just screaming at people I, that I exist. This is a wagon. It's understated. The people who know you're in it know you're in it. You're not screaming at everybody else. Like, look at me, look what I'm driving, right? Like this is very much a just nice, enjoyable family car that you can take somewhere. It's not overwhelming. It's not anything like that. It's really, really 
nice. This is a car I would legitimately buy as a daily. Like it's a station wagon. It does what it is supposed to do as a station wagon. It is easy to drive. And I get this added bonus of I get to shift it myself. Like what a good combination of a vehicle. And it's modern. Like this is a 2018 manual station wagon. And it is so exciting that I'm able to drive this. And like people were able to buy this car to do all of their normal tasks, to do the things that they do every single day. Oh my goodness. Manual wagons are so, so, so cool and we deserve more of them. Driving this car just makes me so excited for what normal cars can be. And like, obviously you cannot get this car new anymore on the American market, which is so sad, but this is such a novel vehicle. I mean, it's a normal car. It's not meant to be sporty or wild or anything like that. And I get to sit here and I get to shift it myself and I get to do all the things that I would do in any other practical car. Like, oh, what a, what a good car. I know I always say that, but I just love cars. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So that was the 2018 Volkswagen Golf All Track. It is practical, it is fun, and at least in America, it's pretty rare. I think all of the energy that went into this specific car, importing it from Canada, adding all the Euro spec parts and everything else is so special. And it's really cool to know that you're driving something most other people aren't. If you also love manual station wagons and you wanna learn more about this one, it is now available on cars and bids. You can check out more photos, see the full spec list, or maybe even bid on it at the link in the description of this video. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.